Welcome. Today we're going to make a drawing program on Scratch. Okay? So we're going to begin by tapping Create to create a new Scratch project. In the new project, the first thing I'm going to do is eliminate the cat. And I'm going to click this right here. This is to choose a sprite from the library. And what I want to choose is a pencil. A pencil is a thing, and I'll scroll down through the things until I find my pencil. It's near the bottom. Here it is, pencil. Double click. And there's my pencil. So I'm going to add uh, some code to the pencil so that I can move it around. And also, we're going to be making it draw. So for starters, let's examine the pen tool. It has some neat things. There's clear, stamp, pen down, pen up, set the pen color, change the pen color, um, change the pen shade, and uh, also the size. And you can set the pen size also to certain um, sizes. So let's begin. Um, we're going to put the pen down. And we're going to clear any drawing that's been done ahead of time. And we'll do that every time the flag is clicked. So when we click the flag, it'll clear any previous drawing, and it'll put the pen down if it is in the up position. And now what I want to do is move the pen around. So again, I'm going to get the flag, and this is going to be a control type of um, structure where I use a forever loop where the program, when I click the flag, is going to forever be evaluating, is this happening? Is this happening? Is this happening? And the thing that I want to see if it's happening is, in the sensing, whether I'm touching my arrow keys. I'm going to have my arrow keys, um, so it's the, if a key is pressed. I'm going to have up arrow to go up, down arrow to go down, left arrow, and right arrow to make the pen move around. So let's start with the left arrow. One thing that we need to understand in order to move the character around when the left arrow is pressed is that where the sprites are drawn is always in relationship to um, a coordinate plane. There's an underlying coordinate plane and I'm going to put the coordinate plane up so that you can see it. And here it is. This is the x-y axis. The x-axis goes from left to right. The y-axis goes up and down. And the location of the pencil is based on what Sprite considers its center. If I open this up, it's showing that the x of 49, 69 and the y of negative 42, that's the location of the pencil right now on the x-y axis. So to show how we're going to move the pencil then from, uh, from left and right or up and down, it's going to be based on the coordinate plane. On the coordinate plane, if I have a point at 4, negative 3, and I want to move that point to the left, that would be equivalent to the scratch action of changing x. If I were to change x, the x value, remember we have an x, y axis here. That x axis is the one that flows from left to right. If I were to change that by negative 10, the point would move to the left by 10. And our new point would be then at negative 6, negative 3. So in Scratch, what we want to do then is change x right by negative 10 when the left arrow is pressed. So I'm going to put a negative sign in there. So when I push the left arrow after clicking the flag, and it's going to move to the left um, 10 at a time. And you can see it's drawing a line behind it because I have the pen down. And when I hit the flag, it clears my drawing. And again, if I hit the flag again, and I can move to the left. Now, I also want to be able to move to the right. So I'm going to do a two-finger tap and duplicate this piece of code. 
and change it to the right arrow and positive 10. And I'm going to duplicate it once again and this time I'm going to make it be an up arrow but we're not going to be using this particular piece of code. Moving up and down is a movement along the y-axis. So to move the point upwards, let's examine change y by 10. Now we're flowing upwards on the y-axis in this direction. Moving up by 10, we go from the y equals negative 3 all the way up to y equals 7. So the piece of code that we want to add is change y by 10 to move upwards. Let's duplicate this piece of code. And for the down arrow, we'll change y by negative 10. Now I'll click the flag to clear my drawing, and I can draw in all four directions. Now, I don't actually want this particular stage uh, backdrop. So I'm going to switch back to the plain backdrop. And another thing I notice is that when my pen is drawing, the center of my pen is not at the pencil point. It's drawing from somewhere in the middle. So in my pencil, I'm going to click on costumes and I'm going to recenter the center of the costume, which is right here. This uh, is the set costume center tool and you can see where the center of my costume thinks it is and I'm gonna put that out at the very tip and now when I draw it appears to be coming actually out of the tip of the pencil the way I want it to so back to my scripts and right now we have a functioning drawing program that doesn't look bad so let's go ahead and title this I'm gonna call it drawing program. And if we click on the save now, then it'll be sure to save the changes because we wouldn't want to lose what we've done so far. There's a couple things that I would still like to be able to do. I'd like to be able to pick up the pencil point and reposition the pencil and then continue drawing so that I could draw, for example, letters and spell out something without having them all connected to each other. I'd also like to be able to change the color and the thickness of the pencil point. So I'm going to clean up my code so far and put a little bit more code. Um, to pick up the pencil point, we're probably going to choose a key that's going to move the pencil point up and down. It could be U and D for up and down. I think I'll go ahead and, and do that. And it's going to be very similar to what we already have going on here. So once again, I'm going to duplicate the code that I have and take out the center. And I'll change this to the U key. the U is going to be up. It's going to lift the pen. So let's go in here and we'll say pen up when we click U. And it would be nice if we could also change the state of our costume. I believe there's a couple of different costumes. And so when we have this costume instead, which I also need to center in the same way, then when we're using this, this costume B, I'll know that I'm not writing. And when I switch back to A, I'll be writing. So I'm going to go to Looks and say Switch Costume to B. So that when I press the U key, the pen will go up and I won't be drawing anymore. And let me duplicate. And when I press the D key, the pen is going to go back down. And we'll switch back to costume A. Okay, so let's try this. I'm going to move the pen first over where I want it. Let's see. I'm going to start writing from over here. Let's start, and I'll go up and down. 
if I hold two keys at the same time, it does this nice little doubly thing. That's supposed to be my M. Now I'm going to go U for up and move over here and D for down and I can continue drawing my R. Well, I'm not a wonderful artist like many of you are, but it is nice to be able to pick my pencil up, move it someplace else, and then put it back down and continue drawing. All right, so that's one extra thing that we've added to our little drawing tool. Another thing that would be nice would be able to change the colors. So um, color of the pen is, is right here to set the pen color. The color that we're using right now is a nice blue. So I definitely would like to have blue, but perhaps also it would be nice to be able to color in red, yellow, orange, green. Uh, so again, we're going to use a very, very similar structure where we're going through this forever and seeing if a key is pressed, then we're going to do something. So I'm going to once again duplicate this um, piece of code and take out what's getting done. And I'll try R. Let's see, for a nice red. And I'm going to... Ooh, I like that blue. That's good. I'll keep that as B. And I'm going to duplicate. And this time change it to R. And there's a nice red. So if I click on this, see how it's changing colors depending on what I'm over? And I just get over the red and click on it. And now my pen's red. So let's see how we go. We start going. We're drawing in blue. I touch R. It switches to red. I touch B. It switches back to blue. And I can continue changing my pen color as I like. The, uh, we can add more colors in this way. I'll quickly add uh, yellow as well. I, I think yellow is a great color. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate one more time. Drop down here and choose Y. And I'll get the yellow right off the pen like that. Okay. Another thing I'd like to be able to do would be to change the thickness of the pen. So let's experiment with the pen size. So set pen size. Let's try what happens if I try five and double click on this. And then when I move my pen, oh, it's bigger. What did one look like? Double click on that. So one is where we were at the beginning. How thick does it go? Can we try a nine? Double click. Oh, nine is very nice and thick. I'll leave it to you to experiment with setting the pen size and also um, trying the stamp tool. When you do something with the stamp tool, I'll double click on that and then move my pen. It leaves a picture of the pen behind. So I click the stamp tool and it stamps it around. That's a, an interesting effect and it will be cleared whenever we hit the flag. Okay. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you very much.